We traveled about 12 kilometers from Bundibujo town to Kirumia sub county at the slopes of Mount Renzori to a place that we were told has more than one mass grave. Because of the terrible conditions of the road, border borders are the only means of transport to Bundimulombi village where we find the mass grave. Here lies some of those killed following the attacks on both the army and the police. The circumstances surrounding the death of these people are unclear. There are no answers yet as to whether they were killed by locals who took the law into their hands or they died during the raid on Kanyamuirima barracks. Me, I'm, I, I, I'm telling you the truth because me, I can't say what I, I, do, I didn't see as a chairman. I saw the dead bodies were lying there, five dead bodies, plus the two were 70 people. The local leaders claim that they were given orders to have these people buried in mass graves. He ordered that we don't have where to take this dead body. You can what? You can bury the, the, the commander there. Clearly disturbed by our presence, some district leaders threatened the guide who has led us to the graves. We immediately leave. And when we are down there eh, yes. at the massive grave, yes. I had this. The, it's like the chairman has communicated to RDC over how I should be arrested because I should the command that you, where are you? You board the motorcycle and come to my office. If you delay, then I'm, I'm, I'm causing you arrest. Why do they want to arrest you? I don't know. Hmm. Why yeah. do you suspect that there could be uh, intentions of arresting you? I don't know. That. That's what I want to go and prove. Hmm. Immediately, then the OC station called me. Hmm. We later learned that he was briefly arrested and released after he was questioned by the police. Some of the local leaders accused the locals of killing innocent people. They also revealed that there are other mass graves within. We have reports that people were buried in mass graves of between 7 and 15 people each. We have also reports that some people were thrown into uh, valleys or landslide areas and then covered with the soil to kill evidence. Some even have heads chopped off. The Inspector General of Police, Kale Kaihura, has instituted a probe to look into the killings and the fact that many people were unofficially buried in mass graves. The regional CID officer had uh, secured an order from court, Bundibugyo, about exhuming the bodies and then carrying out a post-mortem. When I spoke to the RPC, he told me that he had requested Kampala to send him the experts and gadgets. At least 60 people are said to have been killed following joint attacks on the army and police barracks on July 5th. Suhail Mugabe, NTV Weekend Edition.